Did you learn anything new? Yeah, I uh, learned that things are even worse than I imagined, and I'm hugely cynical. Did you know that only 20% of high school graduates are prepared for college-level coursework in STEM? Staggering, right? The good news is that since 1990, employment in STEM occupations have grown by nearly 80%. It is expected that the number of jobs in STEM will continue to increase by 8% year over year over the next seven years. Yet despite this unprecedented growth, STEM remains one of the least inclusive job sectors. Inequity in the American education system is at the root of this problem. Hi, I'm Alexis Williams, a Black and Latina queer programmer and NYU student keenly interested in the cultural and ethical potentials of emerging technology and exploring the intersection of social activism and tech. I also believe that diversity in STEM education plays a key role in building inclusive technology that serves everyone. I'm here today on a college campus to put the students to the test to see if they know just how dire disparities in STEM are with a game of two truths and a lie. Would you like to play two truths and a lie? Sorry? Would you like to play two truths and a lie? Uh, sure, do I gotta like sign anything? <laughs> I actually don't know. <laughs> so I'll read you guys three facts, and then all you have to do is guess the lie. I think I'm gonna be bad at this. It's okay, we'll <laughs> learn together. Ready to play? Sure. Okay, here's round one. Fact one, 74% of middle school girls express an interest in engineering, science, and math. Fact two, women comprise 45% of the STEM workforce. And fact three is two out of three U.S. women say they were not encouraged to pursue a career in STEM. What do you think the lie is? Oh boy. Uh, I think the third one is the fact. I think the first one probably might be. The lie. Okay, okay. I'm going to guess three just because uh, that's what I hope is the lie. Yeah. 45%. Yeah. Okay, that's a really good guess because that's true fact two is the lie you're right yes, fact yes, two yes, is yes, the yes, lie go. i feel like there's more women in stem i feel like the lie is like the second one you are correct but women actually comprise 27 percent of the stem workforce what do you think about that should be way more than that this is particularly troubling considering that 74 percent of middle school girls initially indicated their interest in stem and that women currently comprise of 50 percent of the college educated workforce yeah, what do you guys it's think? Depressing. It's yeah. depressing. More representation. Round two. So fact one, 75% of schools in the U.S. offer computer science classes. Fact two, 20% of U.S. high school graduates are prepared for college level coursework in STEM majors. And then fact three is the U.S. placed 30th out of 64 countries in math and 11th in science. Which one do you think is the lie? I mean, we're the richest country on earth. We have to be doing better than that. I'm going to say three is a lie. Okay. Second one again. The second one? Yeah, the second one. The second one? The fact one is actually the lie. No. I actually... 75 seems kind of high, especially for like wealth disparity. Like, so maybe yeah, the first, first one? one. You guys are really killing okay. it. Actually, less than half of the schools in the United States offer a computer science curriculum. What? Without these fundamental courses, do you guys think that kids are going to be ready to meet the evolving and growing landscape of STEM professions? No. No. <laughs> Probably not. No. no, definitely no. not. I would definitely think that the government would need to basically invest more because I believe that would be good for the future of the country. So. Me too. Okay, round three. Let's see if you guys can go three for three. Right. <laughs> Fact one. Ninety percent of districts primarily serving Black and Latinx students reported difficulties recruiting and retaining certified STEM teachers. Fact two. Over 40% of U.S. households with income lower than 25,000 have daily access to technology. And then fact three is 25% of U.S. schools in predominantly black and Latinx neighborhoods don't offer algebra two. Which one do you think is the lie? Can I read them? Yes. Is the answer there? No. Okay, wait. Do you think it's two? Two or three? Um, I don't know, probably the first one, I'm not really sure. Uh, I, I, again, <laughs> I know I've been burned on this twice already, but I'm gonna say three because that's the most depressing one. 
I'm really sorry to do this to you, but this was a trick question. What? They're actually all true. Oh, man. <laughs> it's actually a trick question because they are all true. Yes. That's why it's tricky. Dang it, there we go. Oh, it's a losing sorry. battle. Students from predominantly black and Latinx neighborhoods are currently at a major disadvantage when it comes to receiving quality STEM education. This explains why black and Latinx communities only make up 16% of the STEM workforce. 16% you said? Yes. Yikes. What do you guys think about the statistics you learned about today? Again, I mean, not enough representation, lack of access to equal opportunity. I didn't know any of those numbers, yeah. so that's crazy. Yeah, I'm speechless. I think the more knowledge that kids can have, the better it'll be for our future. That's definitely like mind-blowing and crazy to think of how certain groups are at a disadvantage and I think there needs to be some change made about that. Just like it's crazy to know the statistics to this because like it's not something people talk about. These statistics are bleak but we are hoping to change that in the coming years, yeah? Absolutely. As you can see, the lack of diversity in STEM education and STEM careers is so staggering that some of the brightest students in the country had difficulty separating the truths from the lies. Now is the time to act. You have the ability to make a difference. Join me in writing to your school administration to include culturally relevant STEM education and support expanded STEM educational access. With your help, we can dismantle the diversity gap in STEM and make STEM 100%. Text STEM to 38383 to learn more.